Hi Virgo, welcome to my third channel, my Virgo only channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I post every day, bringing you the latest updated tale reading. In this reading, we're gonna get you some important messages that you need to hear right now. Today is the 9th of March, 2024. Time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is 10:31 a.m. Let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Virgo. Important messages that Virgos need to hear right now. Virgo, please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and whoever could be in your energy field right now. And this reading could resonate with you in the past, currently, or in the future. Nine of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I do like the Six of Wands here, Virgo. I feel like the Six of Wands indicates success. A lot of people look up to you, admire you, um, or that you have leadership qualities. If you're not where you, where you, where you, where the Six of Wands is at, <laughs> because this is already like successful. But if you're not successful yet, if you don't think you are, that's changing. Okay, Wheel of Fortune. It's a change. And it's a good change. It's a positive change. That means you're on your way to success. Some of you, it's success in your career money. Some of you, it's love with the United Cups here. Or it could be both. Both of them are in an upright position. Hmm. But one, two, there are three, four, four people here. But I always read the Queen of Swords as a Virgo, even though it's air. We've got the United of Wands. There's this fire energy. These could be the people in your energy field right now. The reason why they're here could be because you're connected to them, whether it's physically, energetically. Um, Nine of Wands, Fire Sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But this could also belong to just one person, okay? We've got the Eight of Cups, Five of Pentacles. Bear in mind again, it could go vice versa. There is somebody here, Virgo, whom you may have walked away from. I'm feeling a very dreamy energy here. Um, it's just my feeling right now. There's something very dreamy about this. Either if this is person you walked away from, but you've always dreamt to be with this person, because they are your knight in shining armor. Again, it's not gender specific. Oh, it's the girl of your dreams. Um, but five of pentacles, maybe the connection has been very challenging between the two of you. I feel like Virgo, spirits could be saying five of swords in my verse. I'm hearing Cinderella. <laughs> Why? It's so weird. I'm hearing Cinderella because I saw like a shoe. Um, it's the Queen of Swords of verse. Somehow I saw a glass. Somehow I saw a shoe. But um, for some of you, it could be a Cinderella story. Okay, Virgo. Um, if this could be connected to your love situation or money. Okay, it doesn't matter. Um, because there's money here, there's, there's love here. So for some of you, it's from rags to riches. Maybe that has been your story all along, or you're going from wrecks to riches. But the Nine of Pentacles is a slow energy, but the Nine of Pentacles is also somebody very hardworking. And the Wheel of Fortune here means luck is finally going to be on your side. So that, that for me confirms that your finances are going to improve if you work hard for it, okay? It doesn't apply to those Virgos who don't really, you know, put in... <laughs> put in work and um, in order to be successful but for very small percentage of you Virgo 1% sometimes the will of fortune can indicate you know just a stroke of luck you know um, roulette it's, it looks like a roulette to me right now 
it's just like lucky being at the sa at the right place at the right time some of you may have this luck right now or it's coming in where it could be a luck in terms of oh somebody just you know strike a conversation with you and thought just giving an example and thought wow you would be great for this for this um position and they might hire you or have somebody or, or introduce you to somebody to hire you for a job it's like that kind of an energy i'm picking up on um but also virgo again you know the thing is even there's this story about this guy <laughs> this is funny though uh, i read it somewhere he was asking god like why why didn't i strike the lottery and then the and then god says well you never even bought a lottery ticket something like that i can't remember exactly so you have to at least put in some effort right because in the pentacles again it's a hard working the pentacles that means he or she puts in the effort hence the will of fortune spins uh in his favor again not gender specific so you need to put in work to whatever you want to make changes in your life. For some of you, it could be related to love, right? Knight of Cups. Um, the Knight of Cups, Wheel of Fortune. Now, the Wheel of Fortune is always moving, right? It's a compass. Um, I still remember when I first saw a compass, I was like, why does it keep moving? Stop already. You know, like that, that energy that I'm picking up on right now, Virgo, that means you got to keep things moving. Whatever that you want to achieve, you have to keep things moving. You have to um, put in your effort into it. And then finally, you know, the will of fortune, things will change for the better. But also, um, Virgo, for some of you, you may have somebody who will change in will of fortune, change their perception in regards to you, change their feelings for you. Um, may feel really terrible five of pentacles after that change now that change feels like that energy of six of wands where you know it could they they may have thought that the grass is green on the other side wherever whichever path they chose they thought it would be successful but then you I've got you right here queen of swords and reverse saying yeah I knew it um, I told you so. Whether you told them or not, or in instinctively you knew, because there's a moon right here, can indicate intuition. Instinctively, you may know that this person is not going to do well without you, okay? Um, because it feels like someone has walked away from this situation or from this connection. Again, for some of you, this could be romantic, for some of you, this could be platonic or work related, okay, or money related. We've got the Five of Swords right here. So, who? Who get the last laugh is you Virgo okay but it could go vice versa again Virgo for some of you Virgos if you ever thought that oh the grass is green on the other side I don't need this person blah 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 because the six of wands is like someone's ego being stroked right because these people are like right here cheering him on so when you get a lot of people telling you how good you are how beautiful you are how successful you are how great you are whatever it could be it kind of strokes our ego so there is this energy virgo again it could be you or the other person for those of you virgos if your your egos have always been stroked all along people telling you how great you are then be careful okay be careful because that might change don't um, don't get too comfortable. That's what I'm seeing here. But if it's the other person who thought you know they could do better because they've elevated themselves in some way, shape, or form, most likely it's you know from you, your help. Because Virgos are always um, very helpful. Virgos always like to fix. Maybe there's somebody you have fixed or given advice to, and now they thought they can do better without you. And that is going to change, and the will fortune can indicate karma as well. So what goes around comes around, okay? Bear that in mind, Virgo. <sighs> Let's see more, Virgo. I'm breathing heavily sometimes. It's because when I do tarot reading, it's like the most exhausting thing ever. If you, do, if you are a reader yourself or you do know other readers, 
um, we all have similar <laughs> complaints. That is how exhausting it can be. If you're really, really channeling, yeah, not just, not just reading like it's nothing. If you're really channeling, it's very, very exhausting. So I'll take my deep, deep breaths every now and then. I'm not sighing because I don't want to do this. I'm sighing because it's just so energy draining. It's way more energy draining than me going to the gym for five hours <laughs> than like a 10 minute read. But anyway, Virgo, what I'm seeing here is that Six of Pentacles and one first, right? Um, you may have helped this person, but it wasn't really being reciprocated. And the Seven of Cups and one first. So this person actually thought that they have a lot of other options. But the problem with the Seven of Cups is not all options are good. It makes this person feel alive suddenly because they got their ego stroked. They think they are all that. And then they walk away. Um, and then they walk towards the Five of Pentacles. So things aren't as as amazing as they think it could be, or it should be. So there is a change here with the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like Virgo, somebody's gonna be receiving your karma, okay? Anyone who has walked away from you and thought that they would do better without you in their life, they're gonna be receiving their karma. Five of Swords and Verse, defeat. So they lost, they won at first, but, they, but then they lost after that. And here you are, Virgo, saying, yeah, I knew it. Yeah, I told you so. It could be anything to Virgo if you warned somebody and you said, okay, if you continue doing this, this is what's going to happen. And they don't listen to you and they keep doing it. And the next thing you know, you might hear some stories. You might find out that it actually did happen, okay? Now, again, Virgo, if roles are being reversed here, because there's a Knight of Pentacles here. Just be very careful. Don't get it over your head um, about your success. If you're successful right now, for those Virgos, yeah, if you're successful right now, bear in mind that life is very unpredictable and that is why the Wheel of Fortune is here. Um, it, you can be so rich, so successful right now, but it can all be taken away from you in a second as well, okay? Bear that in mind and always be very, very grounded like the Knight of Pentacles and the Six of Wands is sitting on a high horse. So don't get it, you know, don't somebody, <laughs> I have an ex who used to say, oh, I, I didn't like to um, give you any compliments because I don't want your head to get too big. So that's also part of his insecurities, right? Thinking if he was to compliment me too much, I'm gonna think I'm all that and then I might leave him. But I, I did leave him anyway. <laughs> I'm laughing. We're still friends, by the way. He's married and has kids. He does text me every now and then. And he even talks to his wife about me all the time. But the wife is like super cool about it, no issues. And we're not like having an affair or anything like that. It's just very, very, very platonic. He will every year wish me happy birthday. Um, that's the guy that used to tell me, I, I never like to compliment you. And he, he liked to, he preferred to criticize me than complimenting me. He's a Virgo as well. So, but anyway, six of wands, again, Virgo. Um, you know, when you, when you get a lot of validation from people saying how good you are or how, whatever you are, that is great. Okay. For each and every one of you, maybe it's different, but, um, Wheel of Fortune, be careful because the Wheel of Fortune is a wild card, right? It can turn any any other way. And the Five Pentacles here makes me feel like it could be a little bit of a warning here um, because it might be something that you, you know, couldn't see, right? You Sometimes that's the thing, right? We think when we're on, we're on top, we're always going to be on top. Anything that goes up can go down, <laughs> okay? Bear that in mind. But Virgo, I feel like if it's not you, it could be these people here, right? This fire energy, this earth energy, this um, water energy. You've got the foul ones right here as well. So in Virgo, you got to keep up with the competition, okay? Um, the competition as in get yourself updated with the world, 
you know you don't want to be left behind maybe for some of you always of doing things or things that you the way you do things need to change okay to to keep up because the five of wands indicates competition so maybe you might have to be extra creative to compete with people yeah always needing to prove yourself that's for some of you because the world of fortune something is changing here the world could be changing eight of swords and my first four swords of verse the hierophant my verse Hierophant is like always all beliefs, right? When it's an upright, when it's a reverse, that means you gotta start to think very unconventionally. Uh, you know, keep up with the time. And most people aren't, a lot of people are resist, resistant of change. But I feel like a change needs to happen. And I keep saying that using the word change because the Wheel of Fortune is a major kind of and it's in upright position so it's important and the higher fun is also major kana and it's in reverse so when it's in reverse that means all ways or all beliefs need to go yeah it's time to keep up with the world it's time to keep up or to make certain changes to get yourself acclimated with where everything is at right now okay now virgo again back to back to these <laughs> characters right here i can't stop looking at these characters fellow ones why do i hear also if you play stupid games you win stupid prizes okay uh virgo it could be somebody who tried to play stupid games with you and they win stupid prizes but it could also be a warning virgo don't play stupid games else you will you win stupid prizes okay <laughs> But there are a couple of people, actually multiple people here at Virgo, who could be feeling like they made a mistake walking away from you, okay? It makes them feel really uneasy. When they had the comfort, the higher fun, it feels comfortable. It feels protected. Um, when they had your protection, when they had, you know, it's almost like you are the house, you are the roof. They are like inside of that house being protected by you um, and this person I feel may feel really regretful or will be if it's not now it's in the future because of the will of fortune here we'll be feeling like whoa I got I got all I needed you know I had all I needed actually but then here I am thinking that the grass is greener on the other side and then the will of fortune, you know, what goes around comes around. So they left you and then they go do their own thing. All that they did something behind your back, whatever it could be. And then the karma is turning its wheel. So this person may be receiving their karma and they might end up wanting your attention. Okay. But you will, you already have a bitter taste in your mouth. The queen of swords and one first. Some of you might take them back, some of you might not, okay? But I feel like 70% of you won't take this person back. 30% of you, maybe, because Will of Fortune can get a second chance as well. Someone may want a second chance with you. Um, but only, Virgo, only, only after they taste something on their own that you know, with the five pentacles, life isn't that easy without you in the picture. All right, Virgo, this is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. They are usually very, very accurate. Okay, just FYI. And uh, for those of you who don't know, I do have a main channel. It's called Chelsea Love Tarot. I usually go live on that channel or do weekly or, predict, uh, weekly or monthly prediction reading. Um, yeah, and don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to that channel. And also on this channel, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button so you'll be notified every time when I post your videos, which is daily. Take care, Virgo. Love you. Bye.